Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of T Maxwell Stands. Uh, today, I'm just thought I'd still getting a few questions around how the wiring works with a Carby car. So this used to be a Carby uh, EG uh, base model one. Um, seems people are pretty comfortable with the fuel system and how that works, but how the wiring works, uh, well, it's all often a bit daunting. But it's very simple. So I'll, I'll go through kind of step by step uh, what I've done. Uh, and then hopefully you'll get the idea of what you need to do or if you want to follow me what you need to do So over on this side which is the well my passenger side but for left-hand drive cars it will be the uh, driver side there are a few plugs that sit uh, down here underneath where my fuel rig now is um, and on the loom that goes to the front headlights and what I did is I took unraveled those and moved them into the into the cabin now you don't need to do that you can you could leave them down here you don't actually use any of that loom so uh, it's fine to leave it there um, I just kind of peeled it back popped it under where my battery tray is and back into the into the cabin and they just sit under the carpet there now over on this side there are two plugs that sit there um, so this is the my driver side left hand drive passenger side there's two plugs that sit on the shock tower um, and th there's two types of conversion harnesses the one that plugs into this is the one I used um, so I'll try and put a picture in this video of the two plugs and what they look like but basically again they're attached to this loom that goes to the front headlights and I just split them back basically split them back to this to this here and then tuck them in and poke them inside the cabin and then on the other side inside the cabin and this is going to be really hard to show you but uh, under here they pull through and they and they make it to about their middle here the, the plugs and then I plugged it into the conversion harness and the conversion harness basically goes over to this side to where the ECU sits um, so it goes across there over to the ECU and plugs into the um, C101 and the E plug over there um, so you can see here the old I don't know if you can see that they're the old plugs that were on my on, on this side of the car that we didn't use that I just poked back through and then other than that so that's the easy part and then there's one wire which I've run back along here which triggers the fuel relay and I again I'll put a, a diagram of how the fuel relay works but it's very simple it it, it just grounds the fuel relay and then co basically connects that high powered wire up to the back uh, and it p turns the fuel pump on but the ECU has control of the of the fuel pump um, and that's very important not to hardwire it to the ignition or whatever um, it will manage when the fuel pump should come on and, and, and turn it off if there's any problems I guess um, the other wires I have uh, which I this one I still don't have um, attached which is the uh, check engine light um, and then there's also um, the electronic load distribution and I found out that this car doesn't have that so I didn't connect that up either so basically other than plugging in this thing I've just got one wire going across to my to my fuel pump relay um, and I will try and get this and check engine light working but at the moment I'm using my Bluetooth dongle that's plugged in there anyway so I see any errors that pop up um, and I haven't really had any so far but that is it I've seen videos trying to replace the whole interior loom and under the dash but that's it there's nothing more complicated than that the hardest part is is wiring in one relay for the fuel pump which I'll chuck the diagram in this video but other than that there really is nothing else to to do so I wouldn't be swapping my looms if I, you know there's no reason to do that I don't think um, 
I can't really cover too much more than that because it really is that simple. Uh, I guess the only other things that are wired up uh, down this side um, from the conversion harness there was the wire for the fan so um, I ran that down here and kind of neatly put it down down there uh, so the fan turning the fan on and off I think is already in the loom sorry and then it, this one was for see that temperature sensor that's now in my radiator if it's in the radiator you'll probably want to run it down there if it's not in your radiator then it's probably over here somewhere so you'll need to run it the other side uh, if, yeah if you have any questions comments or you're doing one yourself just drop a comment down in the video I'd love to hear if anyone else has had success doing this because I thought it was really simple to be honest um, might be a bit daunting if you're not into wiring or scared of wiring but I've shown you how easy it is so give it a shot thanks guys